Founded by Scottish farmers in the 1920s, Morton is known throughout the world for its research into the prevention and control of infectious diseases of livestock. The health and welfare of animals has been greatly improved by Morton's work on understanding the causes of disease, by its development of scientific tools to enable accurate diagnosis, and by its contribution to disease prevention through vaccination and treatment methods. The origins of Morden go back to the years following the First World War, which saw an increased demand for homegrown food and a significant rise in the market value of livestock. This emphasised the seriousness of the losses associated with disease and concerned the farmers voiced their strong support for an organised body to conduct research into livestock diseases. In March 1920, a group of enlightened Scottish farmers held a public meeting at the Highland and Agricultural Society's chambers in Edinburgh and the Animal Disease Research Association, now known as the Morton Foundation, was formed. At last there was a focus for conducting organised veterinary research in Scotland and from these humble beginnings grew the internationally recognised Morton Research Institute. Early successes for Morton involved discovering the cause and developing treatment methods and vaccines for Braxy and lamb dysentery, which at the time were devastating sheep flocks across the country. The Morton Braxy vaccine reduced mortality in sheep flocks by tenfold. Scientists then went on to solve the mystery of louting ill, which was found to be caused by a virus transmitted by ticks and a vaccine soon followed. By the 1940s, over half a million doses of vaccine and treatment products were produced and distributed by Morton. This had a major positive impact on the health and welfare of livestock, and significant improvements were seen in the efficiency of production as a result. Research gained momentum and further funding was secured to find out the causes of many different diseases such as scrapie, pine, milk fever, Yonis disease, respiratory and reproductive disorders. Vaccines, diagnostics and treatment strategies were then developed. One of the strengths of Morton has been to use a multidisciplinary and collaborative approach to tackling disease. This involves application of different scientific skills in epidemiology, pathology, immunology, microbiology and genetics and working together with scientists from all over the world to share knowledge and improve disease control. Morton disseminates its knowledge, skills and expertise as widely as possible to bring benefits to animals, livestock producers, the economy and to society at large. Morton's work does more than safeguard livestock health. It safeguards human health too, as some of the pathogens that infect animals may be transmitted to people. Wildlife has also benefited from Morton's research to help control diseases that affect deer, squirrels and sea mammals. Ninety years on, and still governed by farmers, Morden's mission to improve animal health and welfare remains strong, as its scientists help to find solutions to many of the major challenges to modern farming, such as the consequences of a changing climate, ensuring safe and sustainable food and water supplies, and conserving biodiversity and controlling infectious disease. Morton continues to apply cutting-edge science and technology to help protect both livestock and people today and tomorrow. <laughs>